colleague just came into my office. No, Robin, wait, wait. Robin, listen. Your mother's here. I'm sorry. Grown-ups are complicated, but they mean well. I knew something like this would happen. What do you mean? When they told me they were getting married, I asked them if her husband could come back, like Mommy came back. You know, everyone thought she was dead. But your mom didn't stay. And I know that makes you sad. <sighs> Everything was better when Sam came. Now that her husband is back, who's to say she won't break up with Daddy and me? You know that we were supposed to make a Thanksgiving tree, and each leaf is supposed to represent something we're thankful for. Let's see if we have enough leaves. You first. I'm grateful for a lot of things, including being friends with you again. I'm grateful that you seem to have forgiven me after all the crazy stunts I pulled, like trying to give you the ring that I found in my father's safe. It turned out to be Sam's husband's wedding ring, but that still doesn't explain why my father got so furious when he discovered I'd taken it. This is so annoying. She just she just brushed me off, Anna. What did you expect? Did you drop everything and come home? Oh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm past expecting that, but I would expect a little bit more than a, hey, thank you. And uh, she didn't even ask any questions, so. I don't know. I spend so much time trying to figure out why she distances herself from everyone who loves her. And? I, I come back to the same thing, that, that she's suffering from PTSD, you know? And that she just doesn't want to inflict that on her family, especially not Emma. Yeah. And, and the only solace that she can find is in her work, because there's no emotional ramifications to that. The only demands that it gives her is to her intellect. It's not her heart. I don't even know anymore, and I am so tired of trying to understand it. And like you said, it's the worst, because Anna... Emma's the one that suffers the most. I'm not going to let them hurt you, baby. I won't. <laughs> What's that? What are you doing? Punishing you for your insubordination and for your big mouth. I'm grateful that my father's happy again. Emma. I'm grateful for my grandmother. I'm grateful that my grandmother, Laura, is living with us again. No matter what happens, I'm grateful for Sam and Danny. That's me, I have text. I'm sorry, Emma. As much as I hate to leave, Chandler says that there's been a change of plans, and I need to return to the car immediately. W what about me? Your father's coming to get you. You're just stay here. Okay. Hi, Spencer. I'm happy we had this talk. Me too. Farewell. Your sweet little girl. All alone. He was here. Jason came to see me. And? I didn't tell Patrick anything, okay? Leave Emma alone. You're well acquainted with the rules. You broke them. Now you see the consequences. <sighs> Have you seen my dog? No, is it lost? Yes. She got off her leash. Her name is Bella. Like in the vampire movies? Exactly. We don't normally come to this park, and she's so little. She's probably so scared that she can't find me. That's awful. Would you mind? Could you help me find my little Bella? No, baby. Baby, don't do it. <laughs> 